Hello students, welcome to Pharma Syndrome YouTube channel. I hope uh, you all are enjoying our videos. So for daily notification, please press bell icon and uh, as, as it is, so subscribe, like, comment, share our channel and uh, you can give your feedback regarding what topic you want particularly. So like that on base also, we are ready to giving videos on your preference base also, nothing but your wish also. For example, sir, we are requiring like this videos. So most probably on upcoming days, we are trying to not trying. We are going to making videos on other subjects also. And uh, other way, we are also having nothing but we are also providing GPAT as well as Niper coaching for the aspirants who are very interested. So please message us, please contact us anyway. So today discussion is on uterine stimulants. Today discussion is on uterine stimulants. The name itself indicating stimulants. So these are the substance causing contraction or uh, excitation or uh, stimulation on the uterus smooth muscle. Stimulation on the uterus smooth muscle. Generally the substance like oxytocin is having contraction effects on the uterus smooth muscle. So that is one of example of the uterine stimulant. And I hope you already know uterus is a smooth muscle. So uterus is a smooth muscle. It can show contractions to oxytocin. It can show contraction to acetylcholine. It can also show to excess concentration of calcium on the smooth muscle. And especially uterus stimulation, contraction of uterus and ripening of a cervix is a essential during the labor process that is delivering of a baby. So here the uterine relaxants are also known as oxytocin or ecobolics oxytocin or ecobolics so oxytocin means these are producing action similar to oxytocin and ecobolics are nothing but they are showing contractions on the uterus smooth muscle so the uterine stimulants are also known as oxytocin as well as ecobolics so here only few examples are i mentioned here regarding uterine stimulants that is the mnemonic is pergo so you can easily remember the uterine stimulants by using the mnemonic is pergo so p means prostaglandins as we all know, prostaglandins are also known as autocoids or uh, local hormones. So they can synthesize in each organ. For example, they can synthesize in lungs itself and they show action within the lungs. And they can synthesize heart itself. They can show action within the heart. That's why they are called as autocoids or local hormones. So regarding autocoids, we already made an excellent video explanation on the autocoids. So please go through our previous videos. Okay. And uh, next is ERG means ergot derivatives. So ergot derivatives are also having the generally contraction effect on the uterus. Nothing but shows action similar to the oxytocin. And you know ergots are uh, natural alkaloids. And uh, next is O. O is oxytocin. So oxytocin generally knows it is already present in the body and generally it is released from the posterior pituitary gland. So oxytocin vasopressin only two hormones releasing from the posterior pituitary hormone. So based on this also, they can ask the questions. So in the computer exams, as well as uh, your PCA syllabus MCQs, mainly they fo focus on the basics. As you know, only two hormones like vasopressin as well as oxytocin are from the posterior pituitary and remaining most of the hormones from the anterior pituitary. So here three examples like prostaglandins, ergot derivatives as well as oxytocin. Next, regarding prostaglandin. So, how prostaglandins are showing action on the uterus? So, generally, the topic name itself, these are stimulants. So, here, example like a PGE1. Example like a PGE1. The PGE1 derivative is prostaglandin E1 derivative mesoprostal. So, directly also they can ask. So, what is the example of prostaglandin E1? In the computer exam, they will ask questions like that. So, next, prostaglandin E2. That is dinoprostone. That is dinoprostone. So both these prostaglandin derivatives, they are promoting ripening as well as dilation of the cervix, thus helpful for induction of a labor. Induction of a labor. So generally, they promote the ripening. They promote the ripening as well as they cause dilation. They cause enlargement of cervix. So for that, the baby can be protruded into the out. The baby will come out slowly because of the cervix is slowly like this enlarging, dilating. 
so because of this enlargement the baby slowly comes out so this is because of contracting effect of uh, prostaglandins on the uterus contracting effect of prostaglandins on the uterus and especially the examples like prostaglandin even mesoprostal and prostaglandin e2 dinoprostone and next mesoprostal stimulates uterine contractions can be used to prevent or treat postpartum hemorrhage so especially the contracting effects of prostaglandin like mesoprostal when helpful so after completion of baby delivery so there is a hemorrhage there is a bleeding to control that bleeding oxytocin effect should be there because of contraction the bleeding will be stopped so generally when finger cut what will do we will do like this like uh, we will press the finger like this so contracting effect so because of contraction what will happen platelet aggregation increases so because of platelet aggregation there is a no bleeding especially this useful during the after delivery of a baby there is a hemorrhage so that is the general physiology you know already so for that preventing that excess bleeding prevent loss of uh, more blood from that particular part of the particular pregnant woman we will use this prostaglandin derivatives and uh, hence uh, it administered orally or sublingually generally it is taken by oral route as well as sublingual route so that is regarding effect of prostaglandins effect of prostaglandins on the uterus nothing but it is also called as ecubolics or ecubolics ecubolics or oxytocin and next just a minute okay okay next ergot derivatives next one is ergot derivatives so here regarding ergot derivatives ergometrin also called as ergonovin ergometrin also called as ergonovin is a natural ergot alkaloid and a methyl ergometrin is a semi synthetic derivative so ergometrin is generally natural alkaloid but methyl ergometrin is a semi synthetic derivative so both are having stimulating contracting effect on both upper as well as lower segment of the uterus upper as well as lower segment of the uterus and especially this ergot derivatives used to prevent uh, and treatment of postpartum hemorrhage so even ergot alkaloids are also having application in the treatment of postpartum hemorrhage so after delivery of a baby so postpartum hemorrhage so postpartum is generally called as pph postpartum hemorrhage there is a bleeding after delivery of a baby there is a bleeding to control that bleeding this ergot alkaloids are useful and also after cesarean section after cesarean section methyl ergometrin is administered to prevent uterine atony as well as control bleeding so to control bleeding as well as to prevent uterine atony atony means uh, decreasing uterus contraction so generally there is a decreased uterus contraction decreased uterine muscle contraction so the condition is atony there is a no tone there is a no muscle contraction to make that atony into the tone muscle contractions we will use the oxytocin drugs nothing but the drug shows action similar to oxytocin that is here ergot alkaloids ergot derivatives so that is regarding prostaglandins as well as a uh, ergot alkaloids so both are having the stimulatory effect on the both are having stimulatory effect on the uterus smooth muscle stimulatory effect on the uterus smooth muscle so it is a smooth muscle so the uterus smooth muscle can be contracted in presence of oxytocin substances like prostaglandins as well as ergot alkaloids and the, the remaining drug in the stimulants is a uh, oxytocin the remaining drug is in the stimulants is oxytocin so here as we all know oxytocin itself having the contracting effect on the uterus okay so oxytocin stimulates contraction of pregnant uterus especially the oxytocin having dual role it having less effect on the non pregnant uterus but on the pregnant uterus it having somewhat more action and uh, uterine sensitivity to oxytocin is increased by estrogen and uh, decreased by progestins estrogens increase oxytocin receptors so here simply presence of progesterone 
decrease the oxytocin activity and the presence of estrogen increase the oxytocin activity especially estrogens so estrogens are generally male sorry female hormones estrogens are generally female hormones so especially estrogens are increasing the oxytocin action by increasing the oxytocin receptor number so oxytocin receptor number can be increased in presence of estrogen so when oxytocin receptor number increases oxytocin action increases so readily oxytocin interacts with the receptors and showing contraction effect so in presence of estrogen oxytocin action will be increases so this is called as synergistic combination so estrogen as well as oxytocin can be a synergistic combination synergism what is synergism work together so next non pregnant uterus is relatively insensitive to oxytocin so already i told you so non pregnant uterus pregnant uterus there is a difference in response by the oxytocin next oxytocin increases both force as well as frequency of uterine contractions so here the force of contraction is increasing the frequency of contractions means number of contractions also increasing so here there are some of the oxytocin derivatives like sinometrin it containing 1 ml oxytocin that is 5 international units of oxytocin as well as ergometrin 500 micrograms sorry 500 micrograms 500 mg ergometrin with the 5 international units of oxytocin that is in 1 ml that is sinometrin and the sinometrin route of administration is intramuscular so generally intramuscular route of administration is preferred to release drug for long time that long time release doses forms are called as depot formulations depot depot formulations next another example of oxytocin derivative so both the carbitocin sinometrin are similar to oxytocin action oxytocin agonist so it is an analog of oxytocin with long duration of action compared to sinometrin the carbitocin having long duration of action especially this carbitocin useful for the prevention of uterine atony following cesarean section as well as prevention of postpartum hemorrhage prevention of postpartum hemorrhage to control excess bleeding after the delivery of a baby as well as to promote non uterus muscle to contraction after delivery okay means uh, to make things normal for example during the delivery of a baby we are giving the drugs to promote uterus as well as cervix for the delivery of a baby so after that uh, again the physiology should go to normal so for that purpose to control the bleeding excess bleeding nothing but in the postpartum hemorrhage we are using carbitocin the same carbitocin also making the non contracting uterus to the normal contracting uterus that is the part of physiology so this is the lecture on the uterine relaxants also called as oxytocin or ecbolics i hope you enjoy the video so like that only we are uh, making the videos always interesting to the students and always understand sorry understand to the students so like subscribe share and comment our channel so don't forget to press bell icon for the daily notification and uh, in the starting itself i told to you so we are ready to not ready to we are already giving the coachings to gpat naipur as well as pharma computer exams so for that purpose you are requiring any need so please contact us thank you